Hi everybody, you want to draw the minimum price diagram. Maybe to solve market failure, maybe just generally the impact it will have on a given market. Another name for a minimum price is a price floor, right? The price can't fall below it. It is the floor price essentially. How do you draw this diagram? Well, start by labeling the axis, call that price, call that quantity. Again, if you know the market, then apply on the axis. Demand and supply, simple start. Label the initial equilibrium, right? Find start. Then you want to show the impact of the price floor, the minimum price, and that will usually be set above the equilibrium price, implying that the current price in the market is too low to support farmers or to, to support producers, right? Maybe the price is set higher to deter consumption, whatever. But the price, minimum price, is normally going to be above the equilibrium price. So draw it as a flat line going across here. You can label it here as minimum price, but certainly you must label it on the, label it on the axis as P min, like that, it's fine. Next thing, if the price has been distorted away from equilibrium, we need to show the impact on demand and supply. So move across and take the quantities at the supply curve and the demand curve. So we call this one QS, and we'll call this one QD. So again, make it clear to the examiner that you know now supply and demand will change. Here supply is extended, here demand has contracted. Uh, supply is greater than demand, so we can label and shade in here this triangle uh, to make reference to the fact that there is an excess supply now in the market. That's all well and good. All right? So I want to move now to the checklist. Okay, So before you draw this diagram, What's actually in your head? What do you want to show? Because you should know a minimum price implies that there is going to be an excess supply. We also want to be showing the welfare loss. If we're in a primary commodity market here, we want to be showing intervention buying and then the impact on producer revenues. If this is the market for alcohol or something like that, number six and seven are not going to be that relevant to you. So we've done the excess supply, that's fine. What about the welfare loss? Well, I've explained why there is welfare loss in one of my previous videos. Links are in the description below. But simply, it's this black triangle. Okay, so that's the welfare loss, which you can just learn and shade in. Again, any time efficient equilibriums are messed around with, there is going to be a welfare loss in the market. All right? Government intervention will always lead to a welfare loss where there is a distortion of equilibrium. If this is a primary commodity market, we want to show how this excess supply will then lead to intervention buying. To do so, it's worth labeling certain points. So I'm going to label this A and that B. Intervention buying, the government will buy up the excess supply at the minimum price in the market. So the excess supply is the distance between QD and QS, basically AB, times by the minimum price, and that gives you this rectangle, which is AB, QD, QS. So AB, QD, QS is the cost to the government of intervention buying. We also mark on the final show is the impact on producer revenue. So for that, you want to label zero over here, and you want to maybe label this point C, and you'll get your producer revenue. So you can you can say, look, initial producer revenue was P one C Q one zero. So P one C Q one zero, and now the new producer revenue is the minimum price that the producers are getting. Assuming there is intervention buying, they're actually selling QS. So the rectangle. Uh, in terms of revenues, P min B Q S zero. So to P min B Q S zero. So that's how you draw this diagram, folks. A lot of detail on there. You need to decide what's relevant. Not all of this might be relevant. Maybe all of it will be relevant. But in your head, you should be able to do all of that on this diagram. That's how you do it. Follow the structure. Follow the methodology, and you'll be fine. Thanks for watching, folks. See you all next time.